The city is flowing into a new era where growing up means literally reaching new heights. In 25 years, the population will increase 40% to 1.4 million. They need places to live and work. What we've seen since 2006 is 25 new buildings hit the CBD landscape. But over the next 20 years, we're expecting to see an additional 50 new buildings. It will look something like this. Dark blue towers are finished, light blue are coming, such as Brisbane Sky Tower on Margaret Street, which will be the tallest residential tower in the country. 7,000 public servants will work at 1 William Street. Companies such as BHP Billiton will move into high-rise office spaces. And and at 300 George Street is the city's largest integrated development with three towers holding a convention centre and hotel. Until 1964, Brisbane's tallest structure was City Hall. Soon the skyline will be dwarfed by two new skyscrapers. The highest is 274 metres or 90 storeys, the maximum allowed under aviation restrictions which the Mayor is trying to overturn. There's no uh, reason why we can't engineer buildings that tall. It's, it's been done all over the world. In Fortitude Valley, it isn't height but design driving developers. FV is modelled on New York's Flatiron Building. I don't think we're trying to do something that just stands out. I think we're trying to do something that's just really iconic but in a very classy, you know, played down way. More identifiable buildings will put the city on the world stage. Very, very good for Brisbane's profile. It's very, very good for Brisbane's marketing background. Even space on the river will be used. There'll be private marinas and more boats. A major redevelopment of the Howard Smith wharves, including restaurants and a hotel, will breathe life into the abandoned area. And what we're looking to do is reconnect New Farm to Brisbane CBD. We're creating mostly public open space. We're going to have markets, festivals. While the neglected North Bank could be the site for Brisbane's second casino, there are two rival bids to redevelop the Queen's Wharf precinct. The whole entertainment precinct will be a game-changing opportunity. It's not just the appearance that will change but it's how our city will be used. Many new developments include apartments in the heart of the CBD and that fits Council's plans to liven up the city at all hours. What it will do over time, I think, is also to encourage longer retail hours. We want, for our tourists that come here, we want to have a CBD that doesn't shut down. In 20 years, Kurilpa Industrial Estate would have been transformed with 40 buildings and 11,000 residents. There could be a new super suburb at Upper Kedron with almost 1,000 homes. And the population north of Brisbane will have outgrown the Northern Territory. It's very, very hard to stave off the the movement into the fringes. Possibly the biggest trend will be shrinking backyards. In the future, oh. few will be able to afford a lawn. Houses will take up the whole block. We need to make sure that we preserve the green space that we have in the city. As the city branches out in all directions. Laura Dimmick, 7 News.